Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching, I'm Sheree. Welcome. If you happen to be returning, you are truly appreciated. Thank you so much and welcome back. Here on this channel, I do cover fashion, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle. And if that sounds like anything that you'd be into, please go ahead and consider hitting the subscribe button. Don't stop there. Hit the notification bell. It will alert you every single time there is a video placed on the channel. Without further ado, let's jump right in. Today, this smile is real. You guys, I cannot stop smiling, okay? House of Siage has come out with their final Whispers in the Garden Noir collection fragrance. There has been an addition. This is a final one, and it's called Whispers of Seduction. You guys, I am going to give you a 2.5 first impression and a review. So if you want to hear more, please continue to watch. I do want to say this right up front. This fragrance is set to launch September 17th on HouseOfSiage.com. Okay, let's talk about this fragrance. Okay, let's get into the packaging because you always know that the House of Siage does packaging like nobody's business. They know how to put luxury in a bottle and give you an experience from the time you place your order all the way to the time the package arrives at your house and every since I have ever ordered my first cupcake from the House of Siage, I still always get super excited because the presentation, the experience, the attention to details never go unnoticed. And with this package, it was like none other. It is beautiful. If you can see the beautiful gold, like foiled flowers inside, like rose petals. I sprayed all my rose petals. They smell amazing. Really, really good. This fragrance is saying that it is set to be alluring, enticing, and mesmerizing. And you guys, I can attest to that. I would say this fragrance is alluring. I would definitely say it's enticing and mesmerizing would be another word to describe it as well. Looking at the bottle here, you can always see that this is hand placed with over 100 hand cut Swarovski diamond crystals. It is hand polished French glass and a black ombre finish. This is a cap here. If you look at the attention to detail on the cap here, it is 18 karat yellow gold plated finish. Perfume concentration of this fragrance is 20% oil concentration. This fragrance is made in France and I'm going to give you a few of the notes so that we can talk about the fragrance. Inside of our top notes here we have candy apple, marshmallow, we have orange, vanilla, orchid, we have freesia petals, and in our base notes we have sensual oris and patchouli leaves. Oh my gosh, so this is what it looks like. The bottle is absolutely stunning. It is breathtaking. It is everything that she loves. It is a luxury in a bottle. If you get really close to the bottle here you guys and you're able to look at it and see the detail on here you can see these beautiful flowers just like all of the whispers of garden have but if you pay really close attention to details here there are a few bees on the bottle and if you look really close there is the queen bee up there as well I definitely love the bottle it is my favorite color if you know anything about me I love black and gold this is black and gold and it has a little bit of bling hello she loves the bling so this is right up my alley I love it. Congratulations to Nicole Mathers and the team over at House of Siage. Thank you so much for sending this over and you guys are killing it. Every time I turn around you have another amazing fragrance and I am super excited to be a part of this launch. Thank you so much for sending this over. They did send this over to me you guys in PR so I was very thankful to that. I always want to be transparent and honest with you but it's not going to sway my opinion. I'm always going to tell you what I think and what I feel. Let's get into it. So as I said I take the cap off. This is how beautiful it looks. I'll get this for you guys all up close and personal. I went ahead and I sprayed it. I sprayed it on. I have been wearing this fragrance for probably a week or more now and it's real. I mean, it's good. When you see the smile like this, you know that it's real. In case this is your first time hearing about the House of Siage, this is how their bottles come. Allow me to show you the atomizer here just in case it's your first time. Here is your pressure. That is it. It's very evenly distributed, very finely missed. It comes out really nice and it just makes for a beautiful luxury experience. And like I said, I love that. So when I first sprayed the fragrance, I get a little bit of burst of um, citrus in the opening, citrus in the beginning. It's like mandarin it's like orange it's really pretty it is sweet it has a marshmallow in there but the magic to me in this fragrance happens in the dry down you guys it is so sexy and so uber uber creamy and rich i believe it's the orris note the sensual orris and the patchouli uh you have your vanilla in there you have orchid you have your freesia petals you have all of those notes in there but to me i really get the sweetness in the beginning from the mandarin and then as it dries down you definitely get the vanilla but more than anything i get the orris and a little bit of the patchouli not a whole lot but i do get the patchouli 
actually in here this got on my body and it did last about four to five hours i will say this to be honest with you this is not a beast mode fragrance to me you will have to spray heavy um you you know to get a longer longevity out of it on your skin now putting it on my clothing it stayed on my clothes like all day i went back the next day sprayed the sweater that i had had on picked it up left it there came back tried it again and it was still there i always do a wear test on clothes as well as skin just to give you both how it performs on skin as well as clothes so it does last longer on your clothes as typical fragrances normally do than it does on your skin when it does gets on your skin it projects for about the first i want to say two and a half to three hours and then it definitely dries down and leaves more Not not a skin scent but it does sit really really close to the body so it's definitely a close sitter to the body can I make that word up a close sitter to the body it definitely sits close to the body but it's there I definitely get a date night vibe I get going out I get this could be a signature scent as well it's very sexy it's very enticing it's very mesmerizing it's very alluring it's definitely going to make you stop in your track and wonder what are you wearing it is a beautiful sexy fragrance in my opinion it is not beast mode it is not loud it is not like if you know any of their other fragrances it's not like whispers of noir whispers of noir had the purr it was like purr. you know what i mean so it's not like that and then it's not like passion de l'amour that has the oud in it and it's given off that type of a vibe either this is more of a sensual uh seductive just what it's called sensual and seductive type of fragrance it's definitely sexy but it's like i don't have to jump out in your face to let you know i'm sexy but you know I'm sexy. You know what I mean? It's one of those. She doesn't have to take center stage. She doesn't have to be up front and seen and come in making, you know, a statement or what have you. But you're definitely going to notice her and she's definitely going to be there. So that's what I would say about this fragrance. Like I said, not heavy in projection, not beast mode, not anything like that. But it is a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. I thoroughly enjoy it. Do you think a man could wear this? It is sweet, but I mean, you know how I feel. Man, woman, boy, child, human, pull up and rock what makes you happy. So if a man wanted to wear this, I definitely think he can pull this off as well. Um, I do prefer it on myself rather than my guy. I asked him to play with it too. It was sexy on him, but on me it was even sexier. So ladies, this would be one that I would definitely tell you to get your nose on. I don't know if they have samples out. Check the website, see if you're able to get a sample. This to me you know i don't like to say blind buy i'm not a huge fan of blind buy but to me it's safe i don't really think you can go wrong with this one here to me it's safe oh my god it's so good oh it's the candied apple even in there it's so seductive it's just it's messed up. it's intriguing it makes you want to know more but it's not heavy and it's not i think it can be worn year round either i know that it came out uh closer going into fall but to me spring summer uh it may be a little bit much for summer but definitely i think you can wear it spring i think you can wear it fall definitely in the winter you would definitely have to spray really heavy but to be honest i i mean i would wear it year round you know what she says i spray what i want when i want and i spray as much of it as i want so that would be my opinion of the fragrance you guys i really can't say anything more so if you're interested in it i do have a link in the description box that link is a link that i am affiliated with with how to see out so if you want to shop it shop my link i'm forever grateful and thank you and appreciative to you as well so that is my thought slash first opinion and impression on this fragrance like i said i've had it for about a week a week or so i should say and i have been split i could never talk and i have been spraying it and playing with it for about a week and i wore it every day you guys because i wanted to see how it really performed i wore it every single day and i just wanted to get the full fullness of the fragrance and that's what it gives to me like i said very sexy date night sensual mesmerizing alluring enticing everything that they're telling you it is one of those type of fragrances i know you guys always want to know because that's the same thing with me is it a heavy hitter is it a beast mode is it any of that it's not a heavy hitter but it doesn't need to be i don't think that that's what it's going for it would probably take away from the sensuality oh did i make that word up of this fragrance it's more of a seductive alluring like i said you know go with me because you know i have a 2.5 story time it's one of those fragrances that you put on you've probably had on for about two to three hours and then i don't know you're getting intimate and close you could be netflix and then chilling i don't know you could be coming in from a date and when you go on for those romantic end of the night kisses and he's kissing you and you know it's getting hot and steamy hey i'm going there i've got to paint the picture this is something that you get a whiff of like that and it's just like oh she smells really good okay or oh my god he smells amazing it's one of the those it definitely sit close to the body because when I was spraying it on myself 
I would do a wear test and I'd have it on for like four to five hours and then I would go in and you didn't have to really like to find it. It was definitely there, but it was definitely sitting close and it was definitely just like, <laughs> it was alluring you guys. It just made you want to leave the one you're with and start a new relationship. No, 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 I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm just saying, that's a song I'll show you guys, but I'm just saying, that is what the fragrance gave to me. House of Siach, congratulations on another amazing fragrance. Like I said, you guys, this is the final fragrance in the Whispers of Noir collection. I have them all here. Try and slide them in so that you can see them because I did bring them with me, but this is the addition. This is the final one. These are all four of the fragrances. Beautiful, beautiful. My favorite, favorite, I would have to say, is Whispers of Noir. It is amazing. It's that oud leather note for me. It is hot. It is heavy. It is sexy. And then I love Whispers of Enchantment. It is so pretty and so romantic. And then, of course, the new one that we've just added, Whispers of Seduction, is definitely about to be my date night vibe coming into fall. And then we did have Whispers of Temptation. Whispers of Temptation is a nice fragrance. As I stated to you guys, it was not my favorite, but it is a really nice fragrance so this is it if you have any questions make sure you leave them in the description box below do not forget to come over and hang out with me over on instagram if you're not subscribed to the channel hit the subscribe button if you've liked this video thumbs it up don't be shy leave a comment down below and do not forget to follow me on instagram until next time guys you know the drill be blessed stay fit and definitely stay fabulous darlings thanks for watching bye